Hi y'all! Craving some fork tender short ribs? Today I'm going to walk you through how to cook beef short ribs in an instant pot. The instant pot is a pressure cooker that cooks in a fraction of the time. The ingredients I'm using include beef short ribs, extra virgin olive oil, the veggies include one celery stalk, two carrots, one onion, four garlic cloves. Herbs include two bay leaves, two sprigs of fresh thyme, a half a cup of cilantro, which is optional for garnish, kosher salt and pepper. One quart of unsalted beef broth. You can use less depending on the amount of short ribs you have. One tablespoon of honey, a quarter cup of tomato sauce, one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, one tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce, a half a cup of dry red wine, wine you would actually drink, and cornstarch, one teaspoon to make a slurry to thicken the sauce. Turn on the instant pot to saute. While the oil is heating, prep the short ribs on all sides with salt and pepper. Place the ribs in the instant pot to brown. Remember to brown all sides. While the ribs are browning, peel and dice the onion and set aside. Rinse and chop the celery, including the leaves, because they add a lot of flavor. Set the chopped celery aside. Peel and chop the carrots and set aside. Peel and chop the fresh garlic cloves and set aside. Return to the Instant Pot and remove the short ribs. They should be browned at this point. To saute the veggies, add another tablespoon or two of extra virgin olive oil to the Instant Pot and set to saute. Once warmed, add the chopped veggies, the onion, celery, carrots, then the garlic last. Stir. This will help deglaze the pot. If you have more bits of fawn than I do at the bottom of the pot, you can deglaze it with a little bit of the beef broth to avoid a burn notification in the cooker. Add salt and pepper. Add the bay leaves and stir. Add the balsamic vinegar and soy sauce. Stir to combine all the ingredients. Add the red wine. The alcohol will cook out and adds a richness to the flavor. Add honey, tomato sauce, and the sprigs of thyme. Return the short ribs back to the Instant Pot on top of the veggies. Pour one quart of the beef broth in the pot. Place 
Place the lid back on the Instant Pot and set to pressure cook on normal for 45 minutes. Once it's done pressure cooking, you'll see the L on the display screen. Allow it to natural release pressure for approximately 20 minutes, then release the pressure manually. This could take a minute or so. When the silver pin float valve drops, then it's safe to open the Instant Pot. Click Cancel. Now it's time to check out your masterpiece. Next, remove the bay leaves and thyme sprigs before plating and serving the short ribs. Remove the short ribs from the pot and set aside to cool. To thicken the sauce, prepare your slurry of cornstarch, approximately 1 teaspoon of cornstarch to 2 teaspoons of cold water. Whisk until the cornstarch is dissolved. Set the Instant Pot to saute for about 10 minutes while continuing to stir until the sauce is thickened then cancel to turn off the Instant Pot and allow the sauce to cool down. Once cooled, remove the short ribs to rest I recommend tasting the sauce to see if you need to add more salt. Here's a bonus, creamy Instant Pot mashed potatoes. The ingredients include four potatoes, one to two teaspoons of salt and pepper, this will vary depending on your taste, three tablespoons of butter, more or less, a half a cup of cheddar cheese, which is optional, one cup of milk, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of onion powder. Peel the potatoes. Then chop uniform, approximately one to two inch cubes. Add the chopped potatoes to the Instant Pot with one cup of water or broth. Add salt and pepper. Add one to two tablespoons of butter. Cover the Instant Pot. Set to pressure cook for 10 minutes. Allow the Instant Pot to natural release for about five minutes. Press cancel to turn off and manually release the rest of the pressure until the pin valve lowers so it's safe to open. Once done, remove the potatoes from the liquid in the Instant Pot to drain and place in a bowl. Add more butter if needed. Add salt and pepper. Add garlic powder. Add onion powder. Using a masher, mash the potatoes. If you don't have a masher, you can use the back of a fork. 
If needed, add more butter. I always taste as I go. Add the shredded cheese to mash in. Again, the cheese is optional, but it does add more flavor. Then add the milk in batches and mash until creamy. Give it one more taste before adding any additional salt or pepper. Plate and serve with the short ribs. Ah, how divine. Fork tender beef short ribs. Remember, sharing is caring. Enjoy guys, you got this, and God bless. If you found this video to be helpful, please give us a like and subscribe to be notified for upcoming recipes.